There are two listening exercises. You must listen carefully. Then, answer the questions correctly. The most important thing is you must do the exercises honestly. I believe it will increase your listening skill. Hey fella. Um, well, we're talking about uh, things, big things you want to achieve in your life. Uh, so how about you? What do you want to do? Well, one of my biggest dreams is to become an actress uh -huh. because I really love acting and, you know, it'll be fun to act in a movie and to play, you know, as a different character than who you really are. Uh -huh. What kind of movie, especially? Do you have any preferences? I love to try all characters, you know, maybe play in a horror movie or comedy or romance, anything. Uh -huh. Where do you want to do this? Uh, back in Indonesia and the States? Well, I would love to become a Hollywood actress, but it might be too impossible. So I will just try in Indonesia first. Okay. And maybe if I can go international, then that would be amazing. Okay, good. Do you, ha do you have any, like, do you want to do it within 10 years or something? Well, since I'm graduating pretty soon, I would love to try, you know, as soon as I get back to Indonesia uh -huh. and, you know, start trying to go to agencies. Is, is there any other dream that you want to achieve? This might sound silly, but um, I love Ricky Martin. Uh -huh. <laughs> and, you know, I really want to have the chance to meet him and maybe dance with him because okay. he's Latino. Uh -huh. And I'm really into Latin culture. And I know that, you know, dancing is really, you know, a big part of their culture. Oh, yeah, it is. And it would be really amazing if I could just dance, you know, with Ricky Martin. He's a really good dancer. And maybe I could be in his music video. That would be nice. That would be really, really nice. And the last thing is, yeah, probably get married, you know, and start my own family. Uh huh. How is that going? Do you have any plans? Do you have a boyfriend? Like, well, do you have any. I'm uh... in a relationship right now, so hopefully that goes well. So you want to start a family, right? Yeah. How many children would you like to have? Two to three, maximum Two three. Two to three, okay. I would love to have twins. Wow, why? Girl and boy, so why? one pair. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it, it, sounds, it sounds really, really no fun. No one in my family, you know, has twins, so I think it would be cool to be the first one to have twins. Yeah, but at the same time, it, it, it seems to me to be quite hard to raise, like, twins, because everything comes double, you know? Well, it's, it's the same thing as having, like, two or three children, you know? You just get them at the same time. That, no, that, that's why it, it, it's even harder, because you have, like, I don't know, double expenses, double everything. <sighs> yeah, but I just love to try having two. Huh? Great. No, that sounds like a good plan. Thanks. Listen again. Hey, fella. Um, well, we're talking about uh, things, big things you want to achieve in your life. Uh, so how about you? What do you want to do? Well, one of my biggest dreams is to become an actress. Uh -huh. Because I really love acting and, you know, it'll be fun to act in a movie and to play, you know, as a different character than who you really are. Uh -huh. What kind of movie, especially? Do you have any preferences? I would love to try all characters, you know, maybe play in a horror movie or comedy or romance, anything. Uh, where do you want to do this? Uh, back in Indonesia and the States? Well, I would love to become a Hollywood actress, but it might be too impossible. So I will just try in Indonesia first. Okay. And maybe if I can go international, then that would be amazing. Okay, good. Do you, ha do you have any, like, do you want to do it within 10 years or something? Well, since I'm graduating pretty soon, I would love to try, you know, 
as soon as I get back to Indonesia uh-huh. and you know start trying to go to agencies. Is is there any other dream that you wanna do you wanna achieve? This might sound silly, but um, I love Ricky Martin, uh-huh. <laughs> and you know I really want to have the chance to meet him and maybe dance with him because okay. he's Latino, uh-huh. and I'm really into Latin culture. And I know that you know dancing is really you know a big part of their culture. Oh yeah, it is. And it will be really amazing if I could just dance, you know, with Ricky Martin. He's a really good dancer. And maybe I could be in his music video. That would be nice. That would be really, really nice. And the last thing is, yeah, probably get married, you know, and start my own family. Uh huh. How, how is that going? Do you have any plans? Do you have a boyfriend? Like, well, do you have any? I'm uh, in a relationship right now, so hopefully that goes well. Oh, good. So you want to start a family, right? Yeah. How many children would you like to have? Two to three, maximum Two three. Two to three. Okay. I would love to have twins. Wow. Why? Girl and boy. So why? one pair. I don't know. <laughs> oh, it sounds it sounds really really no fun. No one in my family, you know, has twins, so I think it would be cool to be the first one to have twins. Yeah, but at the same time, it 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 seems to me to be quite hard to raise like twins because everything comes double, you know. Well, it's, it's the same thing as having like two or three children. You know, you just get them at the same time. That, no, that, that's why it, it's it's even harder because you have like I don't know double expenses, double everything. <sighs> yeah, but I just love to try having. Oh, huh? great! No, that sounds like a good plan. Thanks. You will hear the next topic. So what about America? If you lose your job, what happens? Well, we have what you have. Um, it's not called the dole, though. It's called the welfare. And uh, basically what happens is if you lose your job, you can get money from the government, but it's really short term. I think it's only six months or a year. Um, but the biggest difference, I think, between Europe and America is the word. We call it welfare, and welfare is really negative. If you tell somebody that you're on welfare uh, or even on unemployment, then people really look at you negatively. Well, actually, let, let, let me clarify. There's two. There's welfare, which is kind of more long-term, like if you have children, and then there's unemployment, which is money you get from the government. Um, if you don't have a job, if you're on unemployment, it's not as bad, but people still kind of look at you like you're a loser, that uh, you should go out and find a job. And if you're on welfare, it has a really negative connotation. People look at you like you're just lazy, basically. Is that true if you're in a community where like the majority of people are on welfare? Are there any places like that in America? Uh, yeah, there are some really impoverished areas um, that have a lot of people on welfare, and I imagine that they probably look at it differently. Uh, but I think maybe deep down they probably wouldn't want to be on welfare. I mean, the main problem is is those people probably weren't given the same quality of education. They don't have the same job opportunities. So deep down they probably wish they had a better job. But they don't, so they're kind of stuck in this vicious cycle that keeps them down. So I think that there might even be resentment, and because they have resentment for basically the terrible hand they've been dealt in life, they look at welfare almost like an entitlement because that's basically the predicament they've been given. Yeah, that sounds similar to areas of of Britain with like extreme deprivation. There's places like that where three generations have been on the dole sort of thing. Another problem is for single mothers, sometimes um, the cost of childcare means that um, it's not actually worth them getting a job. Is it the same in America? Yeah, definitely. And we don't have any government-supported childcare. And actually, there's been instances where law enforcement people like sheriffs or uh, police 
officers have said that they actually prefer that some single mothers are on welfare because if they're not, then it leads their children to be more susceptible to crime or to life in crime. So if they don't have a strong parent figure at home, it could really have effects, you know, uh, later on in life. So it really is kind of this vicious cycle for, for single mothers in poor areas that they don't have child care, they don't have education, they don't have uh, job opportunities. And so it's kind of really hard for them to get out. And they almost, uh, they feel almost hopeless. Yeah, so it sounds like we have some things in common, even though our welfare systems are so different. But I hope that these people, their children especially, can get out of this cycle. Listen again. So what about America? If you lose your job, what happens? Well, we have what you have. Um, it's not called the dole, though. It's called welfare. And uh, basically what happens is if you lose your job, you can get money from the government, but it's really short term. I think it's only six months or a year. Um, but the biggest difference, I think, between... Europe and America is the word, we call it welfare. And welfare is really negative. If you tell somebody that you're on welfare uh, or even on unemployment, then people really look at you negatively. Well, actually, let, let, let me clarify. There's two. There's welfare, which is kind of more long-term, like if you have children. And then there's unemployment, which is money you get from the government. Um, if you don't have a job, if you're on unemployment, it's not as bad, but people still kind of look at you like you're a loser, that uh, you should go out and find a job. And if you're on welfare, it has a really negative connotation. People look at you like you're just lazy, basically. Is that true if you're in a community where like the majority of people are on welfare? Are there any places like that in America? Uh, yeah, there are some really impoverished areas um, that have a lot of people on welfare, and I imagine that they probably look at it differently. Uh, but I think maybe deep down they probably wouldn't want to be on welfare. I mean, the main problem is is those people probably weren't given the same quality of education. They don't have the same job opportunities. So deep down they probably wish they had a better job but they don't, so they're kind of stuck in this vicious cycle that keeps them down. So I think that there might even be resentment, and because they have resentment for basically the terrible hand they've been dealt in life, they look at welfare almost like an entitlement because that's basically the predicament they've been given. Yeah, that sounds similar to areas of, of Britain, of like extreme deprivation. There's places like that where three generations have been on the dole sort of thing. Another problem is for single mothers, sometimes um, the cost of child care means that um, it's not actually worth them getting a job. Is it the same in America? Yeah, definitely. And we don't have any government-supported child care. And actually, there's been instances where law enforcement people like sheriffs or uh, police officers have said that they actually prefer that some single mothers are on welfare because... If they're not, then it leads their children to be more susceptible to crime or to life in crime. So if they don't have a strong parent figure at home, it could really have effects, you know, uh, later on in life. So it really is kind of this vicious cycle for, for single mothers in poor areas that they don't have child care, they don't have education, they don't have uh, job opportunities. And so it's kind of really hard for them to get out and they almost, uh, they feel almost hopeless. Yeah, so it sounds like we have some things in common, even though our welfare systems are so different. But I hope that these people, their children especially, can get out of this cycle. <laughs>